All right, guys, this is how it looked on the eBay listing. And then, of course, when I got it here, opened the box, this is how it looked in real life. This thing is, well, first of all, really small. Second of all, there's some uncommunicated, what appears to be damage to the shackle. Uh, and that was probably why that chain was kind of obscuring that. And if it doesn't matter, we really don't care about that. I just care about being able to pick the lock if it works. This really is a cool lock. If only we had a key for it, and if only it weren't what appears. It looks like it's messed up there a little bit. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Maybe that's just how the locking mechanism on this little guy works. Little herd. Very cool looking out of Detroit. I have no idea how old this. You can see it's had a pretty rough life. It looks like this portion here has actually been bent away a little bit. Maybe when the chain was on that side, somebody tried to pry it. I have no clue. doesn't matter. Um, let's see if we can get into this guy. Um, I have pulled out a tensioner because this is the one I used on previous keyways that look like this. So it's pretty old. got the standard keyway. So let's see if we can get into it. Um, again, this is the same pick I use on these type of keyways. It's a pretty wide open, not a lot obscuring it. So I figured I'd get as much rise as I can. I got no idea what the bidding, and of course I didn't get a key. I didn't even get a decent description. How? Why would they give me a key? All right, everything is springy. Let's try it the other way. Kind of awkward. Let's try it like this. See if we got any binders. There we go. So it's a counterclockwise, and there's a binder. So at least the lock without the benefit of any WD-40 appears to be working. Okay, I mashed that all the way up. I did not, oh, got another binder. I was gonna say, I did not get any clicks or any feedback out of that guy. Another binder. I mean, he's really bound up. I Maybe I should shoot some WD-40 in this little guy. Okay, got him. Another one. There we go. Nice click on him. This is a first click out of the first three pins. The other two just kind of mushed into place. See if these guys popped up. Another one. There we go. Nice click on that guy. The lock may not work, guys, in which case you'll never see this video. <laughs> You never know when you get this stuff off of eBay. All right, there we go. It is working. All right. That's about as far as he wants to go, though. Maybe that's as far as he goes. Hope he's not spring-loaded. All right, the chain doesn't come out. And it doesn't look like the locking mechanism there moved in any way. Um, let's... Innovate. Let's see if it turns further. Maybe it's just frozen because of rust. Yep. So I got 90 degrees. It's about as far as it's going to go. Chain does, still doesn't want it. Well, I, yeah, it does. There we go. All right. It looks like the locking mechanism on this side retracted. But on the other side, it did not. So I think it's just a damaged lock, guys. At least the locking mechanism works, but I don't think we're going to be putting this thing back into service. That's a shame. This is a really cool old lock. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal. This really is a cool lock. That's a shame.